Hi, I'm James Alexander, Chief Enthusiasm Officer for the Quest for the Smartest IT and Senior Vice President at Infotech Research Group. Welcome to the broadcast today. You know, running a successful restaurant and catering business isn't an easy task. Keeping it growing for more than 40 years, well that's just downright remarkable. Today we'll be in conversation with Peter Higley, President of the Pickle Barrel Restaurant Chain. Peter and I are going to chat about one of the ways he's invigorated his restaurant chain through the use of large format displays from Samsung to create an enhanced hospitality experience for his clients. You hungry? Let's go inside. I'm here with Peter Higley, President of the Pickle Barrel Chain of Restaurants and uh, we're going to chat a little bit about how Peter's using large format displays to enhance the experience for his customers. So, Peter, first off, thanks for doing this and uh, tell me a little bit about the restaurant and your involvement with the chain. Well, uh, I'm the president of Pickle Barrel as, as we talked about. Uh, we opened our restaurant in 1971 and we're uh, celebrating our 40th anniversary today. And, you know, we took the Pickle Barrel from being a, you know, small 85 seat restaurant into, uh, you know, a full service uh, 300 item menu with, you know, three to 400 seats in our restaurant. And uh, things are changing, you know, with the internet and Facebook and, and people's experience of what they want to expect when they come and dine. Uh, we, we feel we're living up to that uh, change. So you've obviously 40 years, long time to be, uh, to have a successful restaurant chain and obviously you've moved with the times pretty well. Um, is, is that why you, you enhance the, uh, the experience for your customers with, with the large format display here in Brampton? Yeah, I mean, you know, today when we, when we opened our Yorkdale location, I think we were one of the first restaurants to have a plasma in, in the restaurant. I think they cost around $12,000 at the time. <laughs> And I, I just remember people coming in and and getting really excited over this plasma that was in the restaurant. So I, it always kind of resonated to me, you know, when I was building my restaurants, and I always wanted to have something more than they would experience at home. And, and now today, uh, you know, everybody probably has at least a 42 in their house, or maybe not everybody, but I'd say a good chunk of people have a 42 or a 60 inch in their room. So to just have that in a restaurant isn't exciting. So I wanted to make sure that we gave them something that they'd never seen before. So in, in terms of when you decided to uh, go with the large format display, uh, in terms of choosing a supplier, how did you go about, how did you land on Samsung as a supplier? You know, I, I, went, I went on Google and uh, Googled the big TVs and uh, they were one of the first ones to come up in, in the search. Uh, you know, contacted them and probably within, you know, an hour or two hours, uh, Marco from Samsung contacted me. We had a meeting and he showed me what he had and I was sold. And, and what is it about Samsung that appealed to you over some of the other brands that are out there? You know, the, the, the bezel that's in between the TV, I think theirs is the, the least amount of inches that, that, that separates the, uh, the screen. So when you can see the big screen, um, you know, you don't lose sight of the, you know, the puck if you're watching hockey or, you know, some of those uh, golf or, you know, those views. So I notice you have the 3x3 uh, the three three configured now for a single screen. Do you have other options of, of, of how you can configure it? Yeah, no, we can turn it into uh, two, uh, three, and four the way we uh, process it, which is great when, you know, like when there's a big game on, like a hockey game, you know, obviously everybody wants to, you know, watch the big event, but there's times where, you know, basketball's on at the same time as hockey, so you can, you know, you can switch it up and, you know, you satisfy your guests that are sitting around the bar and, you know, they can watch what they want. There's a lot of people that are, you know, different, different backgrounds, guys into soccer, hockey, football. Sometimes there's a lot going on every time, so right. it's a great, great thing to be able to do. And how has Samsung supported you in terms of, in terms of, of, of getting it up and running, in terms of ongoing maintenance, in terms of ongoing work? You know what, it was great. I mean, we, we, we purchased it through a reseller, uh, but the guy that we put them in touch with, they were like night and day, and you know, they came in and uh, it was not, not even a problem at all. With, with getting it. So yeah, they were very, very helpful. The timing was great. Like as far as, you know, when they said that we were gonna get it, it was, uh, was there on time. And how about ongoing support and maintenance? No, on, uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had any issues. So, uh, well, that's good. you know, we do have a three year warranty. We, we, we bought the TVs in the other TVs in the restaurant. We bought with, the, you know, not the institution, you know, the residential one. Right. We went to the higher grade with the longer warranty. So right. yeah, no, it's, uh, and it's been great. 
Um, you, this is your first deployment here in Brampton. Why did you choose Brampton, and, and, and where are you going after this to deploy? Um, well, we, 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 when we came to Brampton, we were you know out of our uh, traditional pickle barrel style market, you know, not in uh, the core of the city. So I, I wanted to have a, an experience where some people maybe didn't experience pickle barrel. I wanted to have a bit of a bar restaurant, you know, so I could, you know, have the families on one side and have the, uh, you know, the, the bar on the other side. And, uh, you know, I wanted to build this big U-shaped bar to create that community feeling so when guys are sitting down, they can can enjoy it. But uh, to, uh, you know, why, why Brampton? You know, it's, it's a great market. There's a half a million people here. And, you know, I'm only going to open one store in Brampton, so I'm not going to open up multiple locations. So we wanted to dominate the, uh, the market with, you know, one of the nicest restaurants out here. Yeah, and it is a gorgeous space. If, if you haven't been here, I I suggest you come and uh, come and take a look around because it's a it's a fabulous space. Um, what uh, where are you are do you intend to deploy more of these um, large format display arrays in your other restaurants? Yeah, we're uh, building a restaurant in uh, New Market on uh, Young Street in New Market. We have a freestanding location, and uh, we're putting uh, exact same format. Uh, in two weeks, we're going to open. Um, so, just in terms of, of what kind of benefits that you've seen for your organization, what kind of benefit have you seen with, with you know, the large format display, particularly here in Brampton? I mean, anybody that walks into the restaurant, they are blown away automatically. It's just like, wow, you know, it's like a, it's a pretty good wow factor. And, you know, we, we had a UFC fight here. Um, which we, we had to pay nine hundred dollars just to show the fight, wow. and we, we had you know standing room only in the bar, and it was it was really exciting. And with hockey being in the playoffs, and you know it's it's we're getting customers that we wouldn't have had before. If we just put a few you know twenty twos and thirty twos around it, it would not uh, get what we're getting. So so you're generating uh, new customers for the bar. Have you seen that translate into into new families as well? Them coming back perhaps and bringing their families to eat in the restaurant. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the payback is, you know, in the restaurant business, you make anything over your regular sort of business is, is half as profit. So right. if you do, you know, you could pay for that screen in probably six months, uh, you know, the way we do things anyway. Well, that's great. Um, so what advice do you have for other retailers or hospitality organizations or, or in fact, any other business that welcomes the public? What, what advice do you have for them? Well, anybody that's my competitor, don't do it, number one. <laughs> but uh, for guys that are in the restaurant business, you know, spend the money. Don't don't try and uh, you know increase your budget in, in in the you know in the TV budget, and you know think about what guys have at home and and what are you giving them when they experience a night out. Um, you know, real sports downtown, huge amount of video. Uh, there's other guys that it's just going to become bigger and bigger. So. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Today. All right. No problem. Thank you.